gonna have to learn to forget. That's why I took my vacation in Beirut to get her out of my mind and find some peace. Hmm. Peace? Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to Criminal Content. My name is Amelia, and today we are going to be watching The Naked Gun. Uh, before we begin, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to get notifications anytime we upload to this channel. So, Naked Gun. I'm a big fan of the movie Airplane, and I know that this is a similar uh, comedy to that, so um, love me a good classic comedy. Really looking forward to this. Um, yeah, and I'm very excited. And as always, if you want to do the full watch along, that will be over on Patreon. And without further ado, let's get into Naked Gun. The intro music kind of gave me a hint where this would be taking place, so that makes sense. The Americans must be made to suffer. We must humiliate them. Mm. I have the Americans believing I am a nice guy. Oh, that's that Russian president. Oh, gentlemen, this is getting us nowhere. I see these leaders like the the satirical, uh, the political satire going on here. Coward, no longer willing to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Life can sit you fast and then it hits you. <laughs> I knew it. Today's kids would be a lot more into history if they would just play movies like this rather than having us do dry reading from textbooks. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Oh. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. And don't call me Shirley. Don't ever let me catch you guys in America. <laughs> oh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> Would this be considered slapstick? Um, put down in the comments below. I'm definitely gonna Google the definition when I'm done watching this, but like, I know it's political satire. It's a lot of jokes that wouldn't fly in today's world. But, um... Can't remember the exact, like, name for the political comedy. So, um... If it's slapstick, if it's not, uh... Go ahead and put in the comments down below. Let me know. Is he gonna drive that inside the house? Oh, apparently so. Oh, it's like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. <laughs> also put in the comments, if you're old enough to remember Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at Disney World. Not the locker room. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just going through all the corners, not even hitting through walls or anything. And now we're on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, but they stop right in front of the glass doors. I kind of wanted them to like crash through. I just wanted to kind of see what would happen there. Sneaky, sneaky. Not so discreet drug deal, I guess. <laughs> So casual. So nonchalant, so quiet. Kill him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> it's like the home alone booby traps. <laughs> Not the wedding cake. <laughs> oh, and the bear trap. And of course he falls into the water. <laughs> sure, you think I'm a big hero, the man of the hour, well. well. You understand, 
how a man can hurt inside. Frank, they're not here for you. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic is on the plane. <laughs> what about the wedding? What was she wearing? Don't torture yourself, Frank. Just put her out of your mind. What about the guy? You know anything about him? Not much. Just that he's an Olympic gymnast, and it's the best sex she's ever had. <laughs> That's why I took my vacation in Beirut to get her out of my mind to find some peace. Hmm. Peace? Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what about Nordberg? I came as soon as I heard. He's alive, Frank, though he's on life support. Doctors say he's got a 50 50 chance of living, though there's only a 10% chance of that. I was really just trying to do the math in my head right there. Mrs. Nordberg, I think we can save your husband's arm. Where would you like it sent? <laughs> save it, ship it. Me, Frank, your buddy. Oh! oh God, get it. Oh. Hospital Murphy bed. Get the switch on the bottom of the bed! Oh. <laughs> love you. I love you too, Nordberg. <laughs> Drugs. Hey, nurse, quick, give this man some drugs. Quick, can't you see he's in pain? Probably not the best idea to ask a man who's on life support for details. Who would do such a thing? Oh, it's hard to tell. It'd be a roving gang of thugs, a blackmailer, an angry husband, a gay lover. There's no way for a man to die. Yeah, you're right, Ed. A parachute not opening, that's a way to die. <laughs> Having a nut spit off by a Laplander. That's the way I want to go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just think positively. <laughs> Never let a doubt enter your mind. <laughs> right, Wilma. But I wouldn't wait until the last minute to fill out those organ donor cards. <laughs> as soon as Nordberg is better, he's welcome back at police court. <laughs> Unless he's a drooling vegetable. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Gene Wilder sarcasm as Wonka. He can't swim. There's no better time to learn. But I found this at home in a drawer. What is it? Oh, the boat. The I love you boat. Frank, when Nordberg said I love you, he was telling you the name of the ship. I realize oh. that now. Yeah, same. I want every available man on this. I can't spare anybody, Frank. You know we're in charge of security for Queen Elizabeth's visit. Oh, Queen Elizabeth visiting. Whatever scum did this, not one man on this force will rest for one minute until he's behind bars. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't do it hungry, so. Queen Elizabeth has included the city of Los Angeles as one of the three cities she will visit during her American tour. <laughs> Terrible choice, Queen Elizabeth, terrible choice. We have placed the Queen's security in the hands of police squad. <laughs> represented here today by Lieutenant Frank Drebber. <laughs> Take a chug of my drink first. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel right now, like sniffing and coughing. I'm like, the mic's gonna pick up a lot of this. <laughs> you gotta turn that mic off, dude. <laughs> Indeed, it, it is for all the people who share in the uh, celebration. That is one of my biggest fears, wearing a surveillance on set when I'm going to 10 to 10 one. I like triple check to make sure it's turned off. <laughs> Not the, not the little dance, oh my gosh. First they couldn't hear him and now they hear everything. Oh, would like to... oh. he's not done yet. Good policeman, bright future. <laughs> the outline floating on the water. Maybe this will refresh your memory. I don't know, I still kind of hate about this. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember perfectly. I really don't think I should. Yeah, you still don't think so. 
Uh, <laughs> you tried to push something on one of my boys, I swear it. So what are you gonna do about it, copper? Well, why should I tell you? Maybe this will help. <laughs> I still don't think I should tell you. Can you spot me a 20? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow this for a second? Vincent Ludwig presided over one of the largest corporations in the city, and now I was getting ready to question him about drugs and attempted murder on his own docks. Oh! Why is he holding the fish? Lieutenant, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Uh, Cuban? Uh, no, Dutch Irish. My father. <laughs> Oops. Most of the objects in this room I have collected over a period of many years. They are objects which I feel reflect my personality. Like the Japanese fighting fish. <laughs> personality? Oh. Yet, single-minded of purpose and deadly when it finds what it wants. Pretty deep. I am a man who appreciates the finer things in life. The gift from Emperor Hirohito. Hmm. I'm investigating the attempted murder of one of your dock workers. Oh. <laughs> man named Nordberg, uh, a police officer. It's like when you're opening the champagne bottle and you don't know where the top went. Uh, he was shot six times. Fortunately, the bullets missed every vital organ and the salt water preserved it. <laughs> He's in the intensive care ward at Our Lady of the Worthless Miracle. The Worthless Miracle. <laughs> there is no room in my organization for any type of criminal. <laughs> Ouch. A vast commercial development built by me. Oh. Here's a guy. Yeah! Oh! I you do. Oh. I got your nose! But now, of course, that land is able to generate ten... The red nose... The red nose to Lieutenant. Has Norberg been able to, um, tell you anything? <laughs> You've been very cooperative. I'll make a note of that in my report. My pleasure. <laughs> uh, Miss Spencer, this is Lieutenant... We're just gonna ignore that. Hello. Mr. Trevin. Oh, the suave voice in the music. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's me making an entrance. Or trying to. She had a full set of curves. And the kind of legs you'd like to suck on for a day. I've never heard that phrase before. <laughs> yep. This was starting to get interesting. <laughs> the amount of stereotypical phrases you come up for a comedy movie. I bet they had a lot of fun with that. Nice beaver. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. I've heard police work is dangerous. It is. That's why I carry a big gun. <laughs> Aren't you afraid it might go off accidentally? I used to have that problem. <laughs> what you do about it? I just think about baseball. <laughs> If you just ignore it. <laughs> How about dinner? I know this little out of the way place that serves great Viking food. Viking food? But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to get my rest this evening. Tomorrow being Arbor Day and all. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone celebrating Arbor Day before. I want you to, well, to get to know Lieutenant Reven a little better. Find out what he knows. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is best handled by the police? But we are letting the police handle it, my dear. Isn't he the police? But he needs to know the facts quickly. So technically, it is being handled by the police. They're just on the other side. Yes, I'll do my best. That's better. <laughs> I'm sure you will. She's gonna find out more about him. It was about 4 p.m. when I returned to police squad. <laughs> a lot from fiber samples if they aren't too wet. And I you gotta park it, dude. Hey, look out! <laughs> police halt! <laughs> uh, take the names of everybody here for questioning. Uh. <laughs> And thus, the inspiration for Herbie fully loaded. Well, I know the original Herbie Ted? came out too, but. What's that? We've got some action out here. But what's up? Car's got a mind of its own. Anti graffiti wall. Anti graffiti. Uh, I was expecting it to, like, fade away. Makes quite a handy weapon. Hmm. And everything a cop in the field would need. We call it the Swiss Army shoe. Very original name. 
Do you see these cufflinks I'm wearing? And looks very, very dangerous. <laughs> Let me demonstrate on air. Huh? Oh. Why? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I think you'll like them. You want this, Chief? Yes, uh, thank you. Comes in handy. Like, who knows? You could be going to a wedding but need to fight crime right after. I can't see anything. Use your open eye, Frank. <laughs> that might help. First glance, it would appear to be only the normal cotton fibers. Ah, uh, thinking back to my days of biology class. We tested it. Pure heroin. Yep, that definitely looks like something. We're partners for nine years. Yeah, <laughs> you can open your eye back up. Mr. Ludwig. Yes. Uh, Mr. Papschmer is here. <laughs> Show him in. <laughs> I can carry out your request. My price is $20 million. Price is not a problem. Hmm. Tell me, Mr. Papschmeer. In... <laughs> it's Papschmeer. Who is the most effective assassin? Anyone who manages to conceal his identity as an assassin. True. One who doesn't know he's an assassin. How do you not know if you're an assassin? Oh. Oh. I must kill Papschmeer. Will that be with... Uh, Mr. Papschmeer? Cream only, please. He's like, what the hell just happened? The tea, please. Of course. <laughs> Someone who doesn't know they're an assassin, I get it now. Had a lot of... Ooh. Oh, apparently that d device, like, controls watches? I must kill Nordberg. <sighs> that device that turns people into robots. <laughs> Let go of that pillow, okay. <laughs> it's like a video game. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> the pad. You'll be okay, buddy. Medical emergency. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. That that little jump was just hilarious. Follow that black car. The car. Follow that car. Oh, it's definitely check your mirror. Oh, it's a teen driver. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> there he is! Easy! <laughs> yep, that's exactly how my first time was behind the wheel, too. <laughs> Follow him to the right! It's okay. No Will you? <gasps> Apply the brakes. Apply the brakes. Now put it in reverse. <laughs> Stephanie, extend your middle finger. <laughs> Very good. Well done. <laughs> Go for it, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie's ready. and fireworks. Nothing to see here, please! <laughs> the attempt on Nordberg's life left me shaken and disturbed. <sighs> and all the questions kept coming up over and over again. I bet. Who is this character in the hospital? And why was he trying to kill Nordberg? And for who? Oh, you know, quick little game of hopscotch. <laughs> and if it was, did he know about it? And if he didn't, who did? And where the hell was I? <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> Ten.
It's like the Sia chandelier music video. <laughs> Just dancing around an apartment. You said we should have dinner sometime. Tonight became sometime. <laughs> I'm boiling a roast. Ew. How hot and wet do you like it? <laughs> Very hot. Oh, God. <laughs> you seem to know your way around the kitchen. I'm just as handy in other rooms of the house. That shirt looks familiar. It's yours. <laughs> I didn't want to get stained or wrinkled. At least, not yet. Do you mind if I slip into something more comfortable? That look. <laughs> Slip into something more comfortable. Mm, interesting. Almost as interesting as the photographs I saw today. I was young. I needed the work. No, no. Probably an oversight. It was just an oversight on his part. How was your um meet? You be the judge of that. The amount of jokes that are just clicking in my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this world is such a violent place. It wasn't I'd be out of a job. <laughs> but I'd give it all up tomorrow to live in a world without crime. That's beautiful. So poetic. Same old story. Boy finds girl, boy loses girl, girl finds boy. And girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange Bowl on New Year's Day. How every story Could goes. You? No. no <laughs> Could hear? No, the worst. I don't want to upset you. It's not that. I don't want to upset you, but I told an upsetting story. There's something I ought to tell you. No. No need to tell. No need. Maybe we're just two lonely souls who found each other. I predicted found each other. Mm-hmm. Funny face. <laughs> of course the music is gonna swell. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to <laughs> slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> Cough laughing. I mean, <laughs> definitely safe. Nailed it. This movie's goofy, I love it. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Red Rover. <laughs> I had a wonderful day, Frank. I all in a day's <laughs> all in a day's work. Can I interest you in a nightcap? No, thank you. I don't wear them. <laughs> Was that a gun? <laughs> Next thing we know, some thug tried to knock Nordberg off in the hospital. That may be. The breaking of the Ludwigs off. What are they eating? All right, just trust me on this, Ed. I know I'm right. Okay, but be careful. Whenever anyone uses that line. Are those cinnamon hearts? <laughs> mm. Has that actually been used to Jimmy Doors open? I get that this is a comedy movie, but I'm just wondering, because I don't think it would work. There's always something in the desk drawers. Bingo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um tss. Yep. Now what were you expecting when you said piano? I wanna know what that says. Hey. Cause if it gives away information, he's not playing with a full deck of cards. 
20 million deposited on Manny Bank Zurich upon proof of Queen's death? <laughs> Stomping it down is never a good idea. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Just need some good comedy. Just need, you know, a good soundtrack. Oh, the curtains. Oh, that's gonna be an expensive painting. And there go all the expensive china. <sighs> Oh, how to destroy a room in 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> Interesting, um, what is it, columns? You know, to each their own on design choice. That grab. <laughs> and the... He's the oh. No! No! Oh my gosh! It's just one thing after another. Oh my god! Quite a sight to open your window to. I guess those come in handy then. to be a fly in the wall, the crew. Like, Your Honor, but we have reason to believe. Wonder how many people were holding back laughter during that one line. Where is this evidence? Well, it burned in the fire. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> Obviously. And if we're all very nice to him, he will agree not to press charges. Your Honor. Did I make myself clear? Did ask to dutter. Well, when I see five weirdos dressed in togas stabbing a guy in the middle of the park, well, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. That was a Shakespeare in the Park production of Julius Caesar, you moron. And it was a terrible production. Drevin, your presence at the Queen's reception tonight will not be necessary. Not necessary. Any minute now, we expect the doors to open. And we'll get our first glimpse of the Queen, Ken, as she begins her first visit. <sighs> It's like when she's pouring the expired milk in Barbie. Jane! Frank. <laughs> they both popped their butt. I was up in Vincent Ludwig's place last night. Oh, well, nice. Did he show you his priceless collection of Ming vases and all those rare oil paintings? And what about that one? Jane. He sure did. Vincent Ludwig is a well respected, generous, kind man. <laughs> well, woes. Are they back in business? I thought they closed down three years ago. <laughs> Frank, it's so sweet of you to be concerned about Oh. I mean, he's such a gentleman. He's so, so generous. I wouldn't need anything in that fridge if I were you. Clear up any doubts that you might have about him. Whatever you just took out of the fridge, like, put it back and burn it. Ah, I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, would you look at the time? Are you sure you won't have something to eat? Think she's good. That thing was moving behind him. It's a joke about how he's never home. I get it. I'm sorry I can't hear you. <laughs> Don't fire the gun while you're <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the hay bales ought to do it. <laughs> the ever so casual just one-hander. the angle of the toxic waste. <laughs> Taking the opportunity, do oh my gosh. <laughs> Slowly sinking. Security. Everybody clear the place immediately. Something's gonna happen. Hey, I didn't do anything. Oh yeah, well how about this? Oh. Uh, I, I got rights, look, I- Look at <laughs> He's got a picture of your wife. Ethel. 
All right. Anyone else here seeing his wife? <laughs> no, not across the throat. Maybe not the wisest idea to put the queen's face on the cake. I really do appreciate you inviting me. Well, the pleasure is all mine, my dear. And perhaps afterwards we can... <laughs> Trevor. Frank. You're both right. <laughs> it's way past the time we talked. The gloves are off. Yes, I will take some cake. If you have evidence, then use it. If not, I am warning you. Get off my back. Frank, what's wrong? A little meeting that turned into a peekaboo session with bullets all set up by someone who's been playing me like a violin at the annual Saps convention. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. My stockyard meeting, Butterwings. Butterwings. Believe me, I... Pop me another one, schnooky lumps. <laughs> These names. Cops and women don't mix. It's like eating a spoonful of Drano. Sure, it'll clean you out. It'll leave you hollow inside. Or it just might kill you. We could have been something. I was only doing what I was told to do. Like make love to me? <laughs> you can take this back. Who's is that? <laughs> Care of yourself, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. By the way, I faked every orgasm. <laughs> to commemorate. Oh, <laughs> that perfectly timed applause. You would think they told him to move. Oh. Oh. Classic slides across the table. The gasp as he appears on top of her. What good are these damn awards and citations? Yeah, Frank, uh, 20 years of Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to call you last night. I even went by your place. Where were you? I was out walking all night. <laughs> I have important information for you. Honest. Vincent Ludwig and I, there was never anything between us. He likes these German men. <laughs> what about you? I like cops. Right. <laughs> Line it up, boys. <laughs> Are you telling us that Vincent Ludwig is going to just shoot the queen in front of 60,000 fans? No, he said a player's going to do it during the seventh inning stretch. I better get down there right away. Right away. Do you stay with Ludwig? That way we won't arouse any suspicion. I don't want you to risk this for me. I'll go alone. No. Oh. Frank, we're all right behind you. Sweep operation. I've loved you since the first day I met you, and I'll never stop. It was a couple days ago, wasn't it? I'm a very lucky woman. So am I. <laughs> I'm a very lucky woman, so am I. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Kurt Gowdy, along with Jim Palmer, Tim McCarver, Dick Vitell, Mel Allen, Dick Emberg, and Dr. Joyce Brothers. I feel like these are names that I am probably missing. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please rise and give a hearty Los Angeles welcome to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> Please rise for the national anthem, but no, playing the British national anthem as Queen Elizabeth descends. Mr. Palazzo, our head usher will be here in two minutes to take you onto the field. Please, just wait in here. No, I do not wait for him. He waits for me. <laughs> Excuse me. But is he? <laughs> yes? I'm the head usher. <laughs> Please welcome internationally renowned opera star Enrico Oh my gosh, is he going to be singing opera? Please let him sing opera. Mr. Palazzo will now sing our national anthem. Oh, he's providing the national anthem today. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Not quite off key. Now it's hockey. <laughs> Makes me think of the national anthem scene in Borat. <laughs> of course, he doesn't know the lyrics. Lots of. <laughs> no. That. More or less. Ooh. <laughs> 
Mr. Palazzo. <laughs> Just inching close. Is this an official bath? like I'm good oh I thought she was gonna take a drink I really wanted her to just chug that drink are baseball team names copyrighted or trademarked <laughs> first pitch ceremony with the Queen of England ready to toss out the first ball oh how about that Queen ladies and gentlemen <laughs> And I'm sure that group of lovely ladies would agree. Well, they ought to. Those are the players' wives on him. <laughs> so what do you say, Cummings? We're going to do this today? <laughs> A play ball! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the classic moves. One of those players is the killer. Frank is going to find him, even if he has to search every one. Want to see him do that? Let's see if that uniform's on straight. When you get back. <laughs> right in the crotch. Oh my gosh. All right, all set. <laughs> Just a quick pat down. <laughs> Did he find his guy already? What happened? <laughs> Strike? <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Just the dramatic pause for effect. Swinging that bat. <laughs> right to. <laughs> You've seen the touchdown dance, but you haven't seen the ump dance. <laughs> it's only classic for the umpire to moonwalk. <laughs> like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> He's just looking at him like, what? doing the wave. Why should you? <laughs> the quick search. Making his rounds. Have you found him yet? No, and I've searched almost everybody. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, we all saw it. Don't let him get that third out. Right, Abby? Oh. Said not to let them get that third out. Shoney in a rundown. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Even the guy running a scoreboard out there says he was out. God, it's the third out. <sighs> I must kill the queen. Oh. 
He's got the device. It's the guy doing the robot in the background. Don't worry, boys. He wasn't pulling it on you. How could you do something so vicious? It was easy, my dear. <laughs> Storm the field! <laughs> no! No! And everyone just gets so caught up in the dog pile. The robot escapes. Oh. The queen is just oblivious. She's not even looking at him. Kill. <laughs> Oh! What I think is gonna happen is... Oh my gosh! <laughs> he saved the queen's life! Yeah, that's not the umpire, Your Honor. <laughs> hey! It's Enrico Palazzo! Not him either. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, the ump gear would be handy as a bulletproof vest. Well, actually, probably not, but... Stay where you are, Drummond. He's got a gun. I know. <laughs> I can see that. <gasps> a random bystander. <laughs> you killed him. He's just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. Mm-hmm, I remember that now. Oh. He won't be all right after that, I feel like. <laughs> not the not the steamroller. <laughs> and the noises. <laughs> They're just going right around him. <laughs> She's controlled to. I must kill Frank Drebin. It's me. <laughs> Funny face. I must kill Frank. They're all still fighting. <laughs> Frank Drebin loves you. Oh, using love as hypnosis. Without you, I wouldn't want to live anyway. Closer and closer. I must kill Frank Drebin. It's a topsy-turvy world, Jane. Maybe the problems of two people don't amount to a hill of beans, but this is our hill, and these are our beans. Poetic. Since I met you, I noticed things that I never knew were there before. Birds singing, dew glistening on a newly formed leaf. Stoplights. The <laughs> stoplights, first thing I noticed. <laughs> it's not very much. Oh. I wanted to wait until we were alone. Not exactly. I love you, Jane. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Truce. <laughs> Hug it out, everyone. Hug it out. Oh, <laughs> even the world leaders. And the talk. There's someone else here who wants to thank you. Oh? Nordberg! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Says I should be on my bean and as good as new in a week. A week? <laughs> Whoa! Come, Frank. Okay, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's Connor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. People who acted in the movie. I love it. Weird Al, Weird Leslie. Thug one, thug number 27. Ken and Bob. I see the names like next to each other. Angel manager, first base umpire, third base umpire. The baseball announcers. There he is. Please disperse. Please disperse. Here you can use my right. I love it. It's what they. It's their line. It's a, you killed him. 
Oh, I was hoping for creative titles for the art department, being art department myself. Anything else? <laughs> Mr. What's this divorce attorney? <laughs> Stone Corner Valley Grab. In case of tornado. <laughs> Obviously fictitious. Alrighty, guys. That was amazing. I love that. Anyway, guys, that is a wrap on the Naked Gun. Um, I know that there are one or two sequels, so if you would like me to watch those, uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, let's start a discussion. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, go ahead and point out anything that um, I should catch the next 20 times I watch this. And um, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.